Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, The Kim Boy. So for the fourth video, I will be talking about gasification process. So uh, gasification process is one of the feature in Unisim Design that we can model uh, because Unisim Design has the capabilities to model uh, coal-like uh, substance uh, such as biomass or the coal itself. So um, first, I will be talking about the yeah the basics of the process so here I have a very insightful picture from a website uh, that showing about uh, this process okay so mainly there are four uh, four processes in gasification so gasification is uh, a combination of several processes the first one is the drying zone and then the pyrolysis zone the combustion zone and finally the reduction zone so uh, the drain zone as the name implies it will remove the water content inside the biomass the next one is the pyrolysis zone where the biomass will be converted into the uh, or the coal the coal or the biomass will be converted into the uh, simpler molecule to will be breaking down to uh, the more short uh, chemical molecule with no air so here the key words is without air and the next one the combustion and the reduction uh, uh, usually in same model uh, it will convert the charcoal or the biomass into the syn gas yeah the syn gas uh, syn gas will be the main product uh, in this gasification process uh, and yeah from here you can see that we have several uh, components the first one is the biomass or the coal itself and the uh, air yeah, and the air okay so the right side diagram is how it looks like we have uh, drying zone, pyrolysis zone, combustion zone, reduction zone. We have to grid for the ash removal and the gas will flow at the bottom side. So uh, there are actually several kinds of gasification. Um, you can Google it by yourself, but today I will be focusing on the model uh, in Unisim design. Okay, so there you go. This is the model that we will uh, discuss today. Uh, so for you guys that have Unisim Design, this uh, file actually available in the sample. Yeah, so you can access this uh, freely if you have the Unisim Design. Okay, so I will use the same thing with that sample here, uh, the gasification model. So what make this interesting with the other uh, compared to the other uh, simulator? Yeah, Commercial simulator is in new sim design. You have a, a designated block for gasify, uh, gasification. Yeah, you can uh, see actually this block in the solid processing. Yeah, so if you go to the solid processing unit, yeah, you can see that uh, we have this gasifier, and we also have the the special one for the reaction. Uh, direction only yeah so this is the general one this is this is the more specific one okay so in this tutorial the gas effect the gasifier we use is this one yeah okay if i put it yeah it is the same yeah okay so it is a part of the solid processing so uh here what is important to be noted is about the coal like fit yeah so it will be uh, determined will be specified in the simulation basis manager so you can see here that in our master component list we have this coal yeah so when we want to set coal as a coal in unisim design or a biomass as coal uh, we need to checklist this is called uh, to enable the properties estimation. Yeah. So if we could see here the edit code. Yeah. So this is the uh, the specification for our code in this tutorial. So there are some uh, components here like the 
utility analysis, the compositional analysis, yeah, uh, ultanal, the sulfonal, the charcoal properties that been calculated, yeah, a lot of properties uh, from the heat capacity itself, yeah. So this properties will define the code. Yeah, without these properties, the simulation will not able to predict the thermodynamics, the heat and mass balance. Yeah, because here uh, the left side you could see that uh, it is related with the mass balance. It will determine how much syngas that will be produced, how much ash will be produced, how much moisture. Uh, inside the coal, so it will uh, it will affect the mass balance. The right side will affect the heat balance, yeah, because we could see that there is the heat capacity, the high heating value. It is uh, related to the uh, heat balance of the simulation. Okay, so it is uh, the the step that we need to do the rest is quite uh, quite default yeah we can uh, insert fluid package in unisim design there is uh, not really designated uh, fluid package for solid i guess so uh, uh, this tutorial use the penguin wisdom fluid package okay let me come back to the simulation environment so now we will see the com uh, component here. So we have two inlet. The first one is the feed and the second one is cooling water. Uh, so uh, you maybe wonder why we have this cooling water. Uh, later I will give it uh, to you the explanation. Uh, so we have two inlet and three outlet. The first one is the syngas. This is the main product. The second one is the black water and the third one is the slack. So we could see here from the worksheet, yeah, the feed, it contains the coal uh, and the uh, H2O yeah, and also the, yeah, the air. Yeah? We have here the air, the oxygen. Okay. Uh, the next one is the cooling water. We have uh, pure water, of course. And uh, we could see here the syngas. It will contains the volatile matter, yeah, the CO2, the hydrogen, CO. We also have the H2O, and then we have the black water that contains uh, most likely by water, of course, but we will see that uh, it has some CO and CO2 as well as the hydrogen. And lastly, the coal, uh, the slag contains the coal, or you can say it as the ash, yeah? the ash of the, yeah, the remaining process, the remaining uh, solids uh, that uh, couldn't be uh, processed or couldn't be burned in the gasifier. So you could see that uh, here the feed have coal while the slack also have coal, but in Unisim design, these two coal might have a different properties. So if we check here in the slack, you could see at uh, the coal properties, uh, coal property detail, details. So if you see in this uh, screen, it might be different from the feed coal yeah, because uh, coal in Unisim design is not uh, a single single element, not single uh, com component. Yeah, it can be used for several uh, components. Yeah. So for here, the coal properties will be calculated. So in other words, we can say that uh, this core properties is different actually. Yeah. Uh, maybe I cannot uh, show you together, but let us see to the core property here. Yeah, you could see that the carbon content here is uh, 0 0.78 or 78% while the slack it's only 50%. So you could see that it is different thing. Okay. So the slack is revert to the ash, to the ash, while the feed, yeah, it is the coal. Okay. So now we will, we would like to see the three parts here in the gasification. The first one is the pyrolysis. Yeah. Uh, 
the pyrolysis uh, will be modeled as a Gibbs reactor. Yeah, so we could see that uh, it is not a kinetic one. Yeah, we only supply the delta p, the max temperature, the operation mode here in the reaction. Yeah, we could see that in the pyrolysis there are no uh much information. Yeah. Not much information here, only the temperature factor and the pressure factor, uh, the tolerance of the sulfur, iteration, and yeah. So when it comes to the gasification, the yeah, the most uh time-taking one is the, the gasifier or the gasification section yeah, inside. So here we could see that in gasification we have the iteration. So uh in Unisim, gasification uh kind of model like uh, PFR, yeah, a kind of PFR. So there will be an integration here. So uh, you could see that uh, we will use the ordinary differential equation, yeah, o ODE, um, to calculate the reaction, to calculate the mass balance of the uh, reaction system. Okay, so uh, Inside this gasifier model, we have these two uh, reactions occur. The first one is the pyrolysis, a more simpler one, and the second one is the ODE. Yeah, ODE uh, 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 calculation that will be used for gasification calculation. Okay, so yeah, here the gas uh, gasification, the same thing in the design tab. We will uh, inform about the max temperature and also the gasification zone pressure drop. And the last one, uh, it is not covered in the image. Uh, it is about the quench zone. So the quench zone is typically a zone where we will uh, we will uh, cool down yeah, the steam gas because you know that gasification process is very high temperature process. So this quench zone will reduce the temperature of the same gas yeah okay so you could see here the cooling water in the gasification you could uh, see the temperature is not uh, really like a uh, normal cooling water because the temperature is very high yeah, 200 degrees c uh, so you could imagine how high it is the temperature of the same gas before quench Okay, uh, you could see now uh, the temperature of the same gas is 220. Yeah, so after the quenching, it is 220. Uh, for more detail, you could see here at the performance. Yeah. yeah. At the pyrolysis sections, we could see that at the conditions, uh, the feed temperature is at 60 degrees C. Yeah. You could confirm here, 60 degrees C. Uh, and it will come out at 600 degrees C. Okay, and then we could see also there is a change in the pyrolysis feed and product cold properties, of course. Yeah. Yeah, you could see that uh, even though it is the same cold component, but it have a different, they have a different uh, properties. And then the next one, we could see also the compositions to know what actually happened here in the pyrolysis section. Uh, what happened with the cold flow, the oxygen flow, it's 2 flow, and the other. Okay, the next one, the gasification. This is uh, uh, the most uh, highly incremental temperature increase. Yeah, You could see that the inlet is at uh, six. 680 while at the outlet it is at 1200 so you could imagine if we don't have this quench section uh, the temperature of the steam gas will be at 1200 it is very very high okay uh, so that is why that the quench uh, section is needed uh, we could see here at the cold properties uh, it, at the feed, yeah, it is the same as the pyrolysis product and the gasification product. Uh, it say it is the same with the slack properties. Okay, so here we also have a reaction rate tab, yeah, because this is modeled as a PFR 
we have the rate of the reaction. So uh, the reaction rate tab is there. And the last one is the quench. Yeah, we could see that it is a very standard uh, quenching uh, procedure. Yeah, we have a cooling water at 200 and the uh, feed of the syn gas is first at 1200. And then it will be separated into three phases here. The vapor product is the syn gas, the liquid product is the black water, and the last one is the solid fraction. The ash is, uh, is the slack. Okay, so yeah, it is uh, actually how the gasifier model work in Unisim design. Uh, you could do a very many options here uh, you can do a lot of study in this model yeah i i will have one example here uh, let me check in the same gas the cooling water section so now you could see what is the effect of the temperature of the cooling water uh, of the quenching to the same gas production for example if i make it lower here you could see that yeah the same gas production is lower the temperature of same gas is lower and now uh, we, we will compare to the more fraction yeah at first the co is 0 0.18 the hydrogen is 0 0.12 when we change it into 180 yeah it will increase the co fraction here so, uh, yeah, it is one of the examples of study. There are a lot uh, that I can mention. Yeah, you can uh, try to adjust the temperature of the cooling water, the flow of the cooling water, uh, the, how much oxygen is it in the feed, how much water in the feed. Uh, so, uh, a lot of optimization study can be done here. So, it is a very interesting unit to be explored by you guys. And I hope this video can be uh, an introduction for you uh, if you want to dive deeper in this uh, simulation. Okay, so thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and see you at the next video. Bye-bye.